Welcome back to the channel today. We're diving into one of the most popular microphones in the podcasting world, the Blue Yeti. If you're serious about podcasting or just getting started, this video is for you. We're going to break down why the Blue Yeti is still the go-to mic in 2024, how it can elevate your sound quality, and why it's perfect choice for podcasters looking to make an impact. So let's get started. So once again, this series is all about starting that podcast today. As you can see, I'm here with the chillings, with the chilly chills, and I'm in the DM I am in the DMV. I am in the middle of the city over here by the monument. I got the Capitol building right behind me, and we're podcasting. I got my lapel microphone. I'm using the Google Pixel currently. If you're serious about podcasting or just getting started, this video is for you. We're going to break down why the Blue Yeti is still the go-to mic in 2024. How it can elevate your sound quality and why it's perfect choice for podcasters looking to make an impact. So let's get started. The Blue Yeti has been a staple in podcasting for years and for good reason. Its versatility, ease of use, and professional sound quality have made it a favorite among both new and experienced podcasters. Whether you're recording solo or with a co-host, this mic has got you covered. We'll explore why the Blue Yeti continues to dominate the podcasting scene and how it compares to newer mics on the market. So now let's talk about what makes the Blue Yeti so special. First off, it's an all-in-one USB microphone, meaning you don't need any extra equipment to start recording. The Blue Yeti offers four different polar patterns, cardioid, bi-directional, omnidirectional, and stereo, giving you flexibility depending on your recording setup. Watch this next video here, it's gonna explain those polar patterns in case you have any questions. What is a cardioid mic polar pattern? Imagine a heart in front of your mic. This shows us where the sound comes in best. So most of the sound that you'll hear in one of these microphones is from the front, a little bit from the sides, and rejecting noise from the back. This so Blue Yeti, just want to show you that example. That is the cardioid polar pattern. That is the cardioid polar pattern. That is selected now the Omni polar pattern. Bi-directional. And here's the stereo. And then here is your gain for the volume up and down. Consists of that mute button. And then this is the volume to your headphones as you plug it in here. As I stated earlier, uh, as I stated before in one of my previous videos, I kind of, I, I had held it in my hand. I just spoke into it. This is actually really helpful if you're trying to reject noisy studio environments like your coworker typing in the middle of a video take. Ah, much better. In and that's why they choose a cardioid pattern because it focused on you and as she stated blocks out the noise from outside instant rejection another benefit from using a cardioid mic polar pattern is proximity effect when i step back from the microphone notice that the bassier frequencies of my voice start to dull when i step up closer to the microphone those bass frequencies start to build this only applies to certain polar patterns and cardioid is one of them think of proximity effect as free eq the next pattern and i did like that i love that example that she pointed out as a free eq it's pretty much canceling and ex and bringing in, you know, so canceling out what you do not want and really focusing on the sound that you do want to hear. It's the figure of eight. It's most sensitive from the front and the back of the mic and rejects the most sound. And that figure eight is the bi-directional once again. That's this selection here, the bi-directional selection from the sides. This pattern is great for recording two people at the same time with minimal spill. An omnidirectional mic is sensitive to And now the omnidirectional microphone that he's speaking of is this selection here. Sound coming from all directions, which is great for instruments. Stereo is used to separate the audio into a left and so Omni is to capture the entire room around you recording everything around you uh that's if you want to record a room some people actually like adding reverb to their rooms and we'll speak on reverb later on in this uh series that i'm doing here but uh 
it's creating a space. So let's say you had recorded that bi-directional. You're recording two people at one time and you're in a certain environment, certain room. Maybe you wanted to capture that sound. Having another microphone somewhere in the Omni setting will capture that sound. Right channel, which allows people to hear where the sound is coming from. This is especially perfect for ASMR, but also for live music recording. Plus, the built-in gain control and mute button make it incredibly user-friendly. These features make it a powerhouse for podcasters who want professional sound without a complicated setup. So getting the best sound out of your Blue Yeti is easier than you think. Start by positioning the mic at a slight angle to your mouth to avoid plosive sounds. The good thing about dynamic microphones is you can actually get pretty close to them. We typically recommend two to three inches from the mic. He's correct. Uh, I do stay about two to three inches from the microphone. Uh, I like the sound that I emit when I, you know, I'm this close. And also, uh, reason why I wear my headphones, I can hear myself. I normally keep the volume a little low because I don't like to go deaf, but I'll be able to hear what you all should be hearing once the recording is over. This will give you that super intimate, bassy radio voice that we've come to associate with high quality podcasts. Just watch out because when you get that close to the mic, you might start hearing plosives. And that's exactly true. You will get plosives when you get too close. And then that's where you have to uh, either get yourself one of these. This is called a pop filter. I don't use it often with this microphone. This microphone does fairly well without it. But he also has another tip. Now listen up, because plosives are very important. Plosives are the loud pops that your voice makes on P's and B's. But how do you avoid them? First, we need to understand why they happen. When you say P and B, there are literal gusts of wind coming out of your mouth. That's what you want to avoid picking up in your microphone. Here are two tips to make sure you're not picking them up in your microphone. Number one, get a pop filter. A pop filter is a screen that is placed between you and the microphone to block the wind. Or if you want to save money, or you're just lazy, you can change up the position of your microphone. You can do this by pulling the microphone to the side and angling it back towards you. This will allow the wind to pass right by the microphone and not cause those pesky plosives. Those are the two options, or you can put it to the side. Sometimes I do that as well, and that's where you'll catch people, you know, speaking like that because they're trying not to give you that harsh sound in their mix. Uh, those are two great things, uh, but I may go back to the screen protector again. I, I do like my screen protector. I think it's also cool looking at screen protector is why I also dig it. <laughs> Plug the USB mic into your computer and feed the cable through the bottom. Plug it in. She actually has her stand. I don't use my stand anymore. I took my stand away because uh, I like to hold mine in my hand. But uh, yes, everything is done. All the inputs are here at the bottom. You'll see that the mic turns on. When this is blinking, that means it's muted. Take your wired headphones and feed that through the bottom as well. Plug it in here. Right there. Take Plug your ring screen and place right it there. on top. Once you have a good mic placement, I use have these screws to screen. tighten the mic so it stays in off. position. On the back, you'll see the gain. This is your input volume. There you go. That's the gain input. That means that's what you're actually going to be feeding not whereas this is the volume control for the headphones that's where you're listening for what the volume is uh for yourself but this is actually how much is being sent to the actual recording system to the left is quieter to the right is louder right around the g is a good starting point also make sure you're on the cardioid polar pattern She's saying putting it around the G there, around the game. So mid, almost mid-level, not at the middle, but almost there. Which is the upside down heart. On mute, you're live and ready to go. So while the Blue Yeti is a fantastic mic, how does it stack up against other popular options like the Shure SM7B or the Rode NT-USB? The Blue Yeti offers one of the best bang for your buck experiences, especially for podcasters who want to deliver high quality audio without breaking the bank. And that is extremely true. The Blue Yeti microphone is going to cost you $100. I'm going to put up uh, the recent prices of the Shore SMB and that road up there. Check them out. Can't go wrong for 100 bucks to get what you want. Can't go wrong. I, that's why I purchased it when I first started in my video podcasting game. I bought a Blue Yeti, connected to StreamYard, good to go. 
hundred dollars can't hurt you. Especially if you want to get your podcasting done tomorrow. And this is exactly all we're about. Start podcasting. You're still not convinced? Let's look at some real world examples of podcasters who swear by the Blue Yeti. From independent creators to professional studios, this mic has been instrumental in delivering high quality audio that keep listeners coming back for more. This is the Logitech Blue Yeti USB microphone. A legend. The OG. The damn GOAT. It's the microphone that put Logitech Blue on the map. The damn GOAT. I like how you put that. It is a good microphone for the price. It is a GOAT in this game. And if you're starting off your podcast and you don't know what to get, I'll stand by and say, start with this. As a serious audio brand, it was so popular that you'd see them on every Twitch stream, YouTube video, and podcast. The Yeti still has a ton of great features like 4 cardio and pickup patterns, on mic controls for gain and volume, and if you use the Logitech G Hub software, you can tune your voice to. Now I have to admit, I have not used the software. I uh, just been taking this in, and I've been mixing it myself in my digital audio workstation. And if you uh, had questions about what the digital audio workstation is, check out my uh, previous video on sound uh, recording. And I covered what that is in that video. Sound however you like. I can even sound like this if I want to. You can sound like Soundwave from understand what that software. But if you if you know how to work your a digital audio workstation and you know how to uh, edit music or sound, you can figure out how to make your sound do that as well. But he's doing that in, I guess, in that real time there, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. What? No way. For me, it's the Blue Yeti. This is my studio microphone of choice. I wouldn't pick anything else. It's so versatile. It plugs into my phone. It's amazing. Check this out. And that's another cool thing. Uh, it does plug into the phone. I have not used it that way because I have had no need to. And also, once again, I'm going to bring up, I don't like the head with the weight of the stand. I understand it's meant for a desktop. But uh, I can see where if I took this out in the field and I just literally plugged it into my iPhone or my Samsung or my Google Pixel. Uh, yeah, this is a dope microphone. But we'll talk about when you go in the field. Do you want to carry something this large? Me, I would not. I actually use lapel microphones and I will have a uh, uh, I'll cover the lapel microphones in another video as well, because I have a pretty damn good pair and i didn't break the bank to do it so once again no reason for you not to be podcasting today i'm gonna plug okay there so now you're hearing me just off of my phone check this out it's all built in the stands built in it's got settings for if you're interviewing people doing all that right let me plug this back in it's so easy boom yeah i'm like this is it right here this is my studio microphone of choice like i said because it pulls its power, it does everything off of my phone. I can take it in the car. I can take it on location. It's just quick and easy. The stand's built in. Yeah, it's been, it's fantastic. So I wouldn't, no, it's, it usually travels with me, you know, no matter what. And of course I use it here in the studio and for these shows. I, I love it. I love it as well. Uh, I thought it was a great microphone, especially for my reaction videos. I was starting off with reaction videos and I didn't feel like utilizing uh, the Shore SM7B at the time. I had it. I just uh, didn't feel like messing with it. And I just wanted to try a new microphone. And this microphone had gotten such amazing reviews that I said, why not purchase it? Why not give it a shot? The $100 It's not going to break the bank. I bought one for myself. I bought one for my wife. I bought one for my sister as well. It was that inexpensive. And I told them, you know, try, try your podcast. I'm getting them. My goal right now is to get them to start podcasting as well and get them in this game because, uh, I want everyone to podcast. This is a way for us to leave our history behind, put out our uh, desires, our wants, our, our knowledge, our information, put it out there. Let's see. Let's see if you could snag some people to listen and, and conversate with you, communicate with you. Because one thing about podcasting that I love and why I'm pushing everyone to do it is uh, we're lacking in communication today. We're not talking to one another anymore. We're so angry. We're upset. And right now, the goal is to get you guys to communicate. And how do we do that? Let's create a podcast. Let's start talking to other people. Let's start uh, sharing information, the wealth of knowledge that we do have. Great microphone, $100. I've seen them for $129. No reason to pay that much. Go on Amazon. I think I've seen them on discounts there at times. Great microphone for people starting off their podcast. Start your podcast today.
The Blue Yeti remains one of the best microphones for podcasters in 2024, offering exceptional sound quality, versatility, and ease of use, all at a price that won't break the bank. Whether you're just starting out or looking to upgrade your setup, the Blue Yeti is a mic you can trust. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tips and reviews. What mic are you using for podcasting? Let me know in the comments. Well, all right. Say sweet talk. What do you know about that all gas, no brakes? Man, I heard about that all gas, no brakes. Don't think they gonna let me on. I ain't got a damn thing to talk about. Ooh, they talk about everything. This is all gas, no brakes. Oh, don't step on the brakes. Oh, don't step on the brakes. Huh? Well, I'm my boy.